So in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about the market in FC Mobile, what investments you should make and which players you should keep an eye on to make coins in FC Mobile, of course. But before, we've got some new players that are coming out in Winter Wildcards event. Obviously, as you know, we've got the Winter Wildcards event right now. Before Team of the Year, after this one, you're probably going to have Team of the Year. And right now, uh, we've got these players in 85 to 95 overall player packs, but they are probably going to be changed with Team C players that are going to be coming out. Uh, for you tomorrow right it's gonna be coming out very very soon in the next refresh for you so we're gonna go ahead and check out some of the new icons that are gonna be coming out uh, coming out and then we're gonna check out some of the investments that you can make so make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it so these right here are the icons confirmed by ea that are gonna be coming out in the next refresh during winter wildcards event so there is gonna be a 95 overall Gerd muller right there as you can see 94 overall steven gerard 92 overall viali and 91 overall Joe Cole right there. These are gonna be four of the cards that are coming that are gonna be coming out. Obviously, not all of them are icons. Miller and Gerard are icons, and Viali and Cole are hero cards, but they're still almost the same in FC Mobile. Let's be honest with that. They're almost the same. So we're gonna get brand new players, team C players in FC Mobile during Winter Wild Cards. Let me know down in the comment section if you if you are gonna open some packs for these players, not the most exciting ones, maybe. So maybe you should go on and save your winter wild card tokens for team of the year. I'm not sure. You can go ahead and make your decision. I guess but anyways as you can as I said right now you can go ahead and definitely monitor some players to invest in to go ahead and make some coins for example if you go into the market a lot of players are at their minimum minimum overall uh, or minimum price sorry just because the market is very very low right now when team of the year comes out high overall players are gonna decrease in price a lot but I feel like lower overall players are gonna increase a bit but some of the 90 overall players are definitely very very nice investments right now our Eto is definitely a good one. I went, I went ahead and bought him at like 8 million coins uh, to make that uh, squad builder, cheap squad builder yesterday, I think it was, or maybe the day before yesterday as well. But yeah, he, now he is 9.5 million coins right now. He has increased already and I wouldn't really buy him right now because as you can see, there are a lot of people trying to sell that card, but I will definitely monitor him because um, there is a very, very good chance he's going to go up in price. Um, then we've got Tomori as well. Tomori uh, obviously goes up and down a little bit, but he's a very, very good card. So in the future, I think there is a very, very good chance he's going to go up. Uh, there are some other players. For example, there is that 90 overall George Best. George Best is definitely a good investment as well. As you can see, he has gone down a, a, a lot in the last couple of days. He's now like 17 million coins. I will definitely monitor him and he's going to be a very, very decent investment right there. Uh, there is 90 overall. Let me go ahead and find him. The center back. A hero center back that is a good one as well okocha as well okocha is definitely a good investment because as you can see he's like three million coins uh if he goes down a little bit more even uh you, that that's even that's gonna that's gonna be a lot better of course but he's still a decent investment at that you should not buy him right now though as i said you should go ahead and put those players in your watch list monitor them and try to buy them for as cheap as possible there is that card that i was talking about as well ricardo carvalho it's still at like 5.8 million coins i think that's a decent investment but once again uh, every single player you invest in is a risk it doesn't matter if you think uh, it's guaranteed profit or something like that investing in any of the players is still a risk Rudiger right there is a good option as well pretty decent option what I would suggest you to do with this type of cards though is I wouldn't really suggest you to buy them right now what I would do is I would buy them at the weekend because as you can see right there we've got the challenge mode and at the weekend this challenge mode is not uh, a daily challenge mode where, where we are only getting 90 to 90 or 80 to 95 overall player player pack right there at the weekend on Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna get 88 to 95 overall player pack as well as 285 to 92s. Um, so you will be able to get way, very high overall players, right? Not only you, but a lot of people, every single player who plays challenge mode is gonna be able to get 88 to 95 overall player pack two times on Saturday and Sunday. And that's the reason those 90 plus overall cards are going down in price. And uh, I would definitely buy some of these 90 overall cards at that time because they're gonna be at their lowest. Um, at the weekend, I think it's the best time to go ahead and buy these cards. This Thierry Henry as well, I would definitely wait for the uh, for the weekend. And when you, when he goes down a lot more, when he's going to be at his lowest, then that's the time to go ahead and buy these type of cards. And not only 90 overalls, there are some 91 overalls that are, uh, that are 
quite decent investments of course as well Bruno Gomares I did tell you to invest in him when he was like 8 million coins now he's 11 12 mil right there uh, 12 mil right there as you can see at the weekend if he goes down to like 8 9 mil that's gonna be a decent investment right there Matheus he has gone up in price as well uh he was like 7.5 mil I believe I bought him for like 7 mil I'm pretty sure but now he has gone up in price once again a decent investment right there you should definitely put him in your watch list and at the weekend you should try to buy that card as well as Eusebio even though he's got a central forward position he's quite good in game to be fair he's quite good and the same link with Johan Cruyff right there he was about 7 million coins now he's like 8.8 .8, 9 million coins and yeah the weekend I think he's gonna go down as well and there is a chance he's gonna go up quite a bit as well look look, look at Luis Diaz right there he was 14 million coins I did tell you all to invest in that card if you did you made some coins already if you didn't I think at the weekend his price is gonna go down a little bit more and if you want to you can buy him still because I think there is a de decent chance he's gonna reach like 23 24 million coins he's just a very very good card right he's just got a very very nice card right there um, as well as uh, for example let's go ahead and find some other ones i don't think there are many other ones that are gonna be great investment at that 91 overall schneider maybe is not gonna be a bad one either he's gonna be a decent investment 92 overalls we can go ahead and definitely check out some 92 overall cards who are gonna be quite decent as well bobby charlton uh at the weekend when he goes down to like 18 uh, not 18 14 15 million coins is gonna be a decent investment as well because he goes up and down quite a bit diaby is definitely a good investment as well uh at the weekend again he's gonna go down quite a bit more you should definitely monitor him and try to buy him at this uh, cheapest price this Maldini is a very very good example as well. Look at that. His price is uh, his, his price goes uh, goes up and down a lot because he's got a good card. But when uh, when it's at the weekend and just because he's in the misery signing rewards as well, that's the reason his price went down a lot. But at the weekend, I think his price might go down to like 31 mil, 30 million coins, and then you should go ahead and try to buy him at his cheapest price. And um, after the weekend, I think he's gonna keep increasing and you can definitely make some good amount of profit with Maldini. Maybe with Puskas as well. Puskas can, is not gonna be a bad one, but I think Maldini is just a lot better of an investment that you can make. And Muller, Gerd Muller is a decent one as well. Gerd Muller is definitely a decent one. Other than that, the high, higher overall cards are quite risky to invest in. I do like 93 overall. Chiesa, as I'm talking about a lot, let me go ahead and um, type 93 overall now 93 overall uh Chiesa I did I do like Chiesa's investment he was like 80 million coins now you can go ahead and sell your Chiesa for like 90 for 95 mil so that's a very very good amount of profit but right now is he gonna go up a lot more I feel like there is a chance he's gonna go up a lot more but as I said it's a risk with Chiesa it's a risk with Chiesa now but if you invested in him when he was 80 mil you made quite a few profits with that definitely let me know down in the comment section what you think about the new winter wild cards icons as well as if you are investing in any of the players but yeah that's gonna be the end make sure to like and subscribe and peace